Hello traders and welcome to the NinjaTrader Jumpstart online class, how to get started with NinjaTrader in no time flat. In this video, we're going to go ahead and walk you through how to download and install NinjaTrader and also how to set up your trading connection in under five minutes. Now, a couple of important keynotes that I want to go over first. First of all, NinjaTrader is always free for charting, so you don't have to buy to unlock its charting capabilities. The free version has the ability to install and use any of the NinjaCader indicators, so go ahead and download the NinjaTrader platform so you can get started. Now, real-time and historical data for Forex is always free, and futures data has end-of-day historical and market replay data available that is always free as well. Now, you can get real-time data through a trial period for 14 days just for futures. After that, if you want to subscribe to it, then it'll be $55 a month. For stocks, there's no 14-day trial, but you have the option of going into NinjaTrader and setting up a stock data feed for your NinjaTrader platform. All right, so now I'm going to show you and walk you through step-by-step -step exactly to what you're going to see and what to do after you click on that link right below this video here. So the first thing you want to do is select your asset class between futures and forex. Just go ahead and click on whichever one that you like. Now you're going to go ahead and put your name in here. Put your phone number in here as well. And go ahead and put your specific email in here as well. And then go ahead and click on the country that you are from. You have to go through this area here as well. And go ahead and get started. While that's processing, then you have this page that comes up here. Select NinjaTrader 8. And at that point, you're going to go ahead and get these prompts right below here. So go ahead and hit download here at this point. You're going to see, do you want to run or save NinjaTrader install uh, from NinjaTrader.com? Go ahead and click on run. I won't go ahead and do that, but make sure you click on run there. It'll go ahead and download and install to your uh, machine. And then as far as that goes, you're all set. Now, if you need a connection guide to connect to live data, uh, then you can go ahead and download this as well. But you will receive an email, including your username and password to connect to NinjaTrader Continuum. Once received, click the button below for setup instructions. Now, I'll go ahead and walk you through that step by step next. So once you've downloaded and uh, installed NinjaTrader, go ahead and open it up and then go to Connections here and go to Configure. Once you're in Configure here, you want to go to, if it's Forex.com, if you signed up for a Forex feed, go ahead and populate it down here. And you'll see, I'll say Forex.com, um, but this one has a 1 since I already have one here as well. Uh, go ahead and populate it there. Go ahead and re uh, you can call your connection whatever you'd like. I would leave this blank here, connect on startup. Go ahead and manually connect every time. Put your username and your password here, and then go ahead and hit OK, and you're all set there. Now, if you have a futures data, uh, you can go to NinjaTrader Continuum. I already have one here. And go ahead and put the connection name, whatever you'd like. Again, leave this one blank. Go ahead and connect to it manually here. Put your username, password. If it's a demo, go ahead and make sure that's a demo. And uh, you can include in Forex, but I'll go ahead and leave that one off here as well. And then once you're done, hit OK. I'll go ahead and cancel that for now. And you'll see that the connections are here. So you have Forex.com and NinjaTrader Continuum. And just go ahead and click on whichever one. So if I want to connect to Forex.com, I'll just go ahead and click on that. You'll see this yellow light here. And then I'll go ahead and switch to green once it's connected. And you're all set and ready to go. Now, if you see a little red light here, it just means that you're not connected. Go ahead and go back into connections. Go to configure here at this point, And make sure you go through here. And make sure you have the correct login data for both uh, if it's Forex or NinjaTrader. Now, if you uh, trade stocks here as well and you signed up for a trial for futures data, again, go through Continuum again and make sure that's connected. Uh, but if you have uh, interactive brokers or IQ feed, for instance, uh, you'll notice all the login information here. They'll send you an email with how to connect your username and password here and uh, how to connect specifically to interactive brokers. You want to reach out to your broker and ask them about that and tell them that you're with NinjaTrader. Same thing for IQ feeds, a little bit easier. You can see your username and password. Same thing as before. Uh, pretty much all set up and ready to go. Uh, TD Ameritrade is down here as well for stock trading. Again, just a username and password. Again, once you're, if you trade stocks or futures or Forex, once you're done, you're all set up and you're ready to go.